right, so here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Jamal Sweet Dreams. He'll rest the title away from Glover Teixeira at UFC 283. That was January of 2023. One of the better championship performances of that year. But then Jamal Hill tore his Achilles playing basketball. He was unable to defend the title, which eventually he was forced to vacate. But as an athlete, as a boxer, as a grappler, a lot of people still believe this is the best 205-pound fighter in the world. He's got another opportunity to prove just that here on the Proving Ground tonight. DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You can watch the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside him. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has graced the octagon yet again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC light heavyweight champion, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones! John! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so we get another look at John Bones Jones here tonight. He immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see if he goes to the striking here early. We know he can also grapple with the best of them, but an obvious reach advantage yet again for John Bones Jones tonight. 84 and a half inches in reach, something that is very difficult for opponents to counter. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time out. Down defenses there. Nice land. Great punch. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up and coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this. I mean, it's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Hill's 
circling now towards the left. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh, huge knee to the head. Perfectly timed and placed. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's call of card. Nicely done with the kick there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. A body kick is blocked. Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, he's starting to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Well, missed on that one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. Punch coming. It's blocked. Two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, uppercut. Oh, nice. Nice. Great job finding that nasty shot from the clinch position. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Oh, the kick landed. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. It mixes up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh, he caught out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Always offensive. Lands a shot from the bottom. Making all these shots count. This is John Jones's wheelhouse right here, the ground and pound. Just a devastating ground striker, and his opponent may not be long for this. You know, we have seen Jones do this before in his career, where when he gets you down, he is so long that even from your guard, he can land brutal elbows and, and cause so much damage. That has been the game plan tonight, and you can see that what Jones set out to do, he is accomplishing. They should be very proud, his team in this corner. Seconds left. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Johnny Bone. On well, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. He passed the half guard. Oh, A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who had the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Alright, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
Hills in half guard. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Nice transition. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. That leg kick lands. He better check. That leg's getting beat up. Effective jab there by Jamal Hill. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Let's go. Keep that footwork going. Jones' thighs started to show serious signs of bruising now. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up the cut or not. a big check. Oh, misses with the jab. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there on that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. by Jones. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going out. hands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Jones goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, right to the mouth. Right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't. Oh, come on, come on now. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. Oh, nice transition. Come on, right into the armbar. Transition to the belly down on bar now. Oh, he got up. He's actually defended. Now, he's not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was before. Lance with the ground and pound here. Jones has got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Open it right up. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. That's it. That's the end of the fight. It's got Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Jeans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Kimura, John
All right, so we heard it there from Bruce Buffer. John Jones, your winner tonight by submission. We sat down with him this week. He prioritized a finish, and he certainly closed the show here. He did. He did exactly.